Okay, next up we're going to learn about if, else, if, and else. And very often when you write code, you want to perform different actions for different decisions. And this is where if, else, if, and else comes into play. Now we'll see that without this, well, JavaScript just wouldn't exist. It is one of the essence of JavaScript, these statements right here. So let me first of all take everything that we did up here, cut it out, open up our file comparison and logical operators, paste it in here, and go back. Actually, we can close this, and we can go back here, and let's start with if, else, if, and else statements. Now let me first of all initiate a variable let, and let's just call it car. I'm going to give this a string value of Tesla and yeah, the car that I like to have. So let's create now down here a if statement and the if statement is as following. So if and within parentheses something happens or is true or is not true or whatever you want. So if Tesla, so if car is equal to the value and string of Tesla, then outside of the parentheses, the curly braces, something should happen. And there's something in our case, and uh, I can hardly wait to get away from console log. Then we will console log, you have a Tesla. Okay, so if this is true, then we will console log, you have Tesla. And yep, it's true. And now let's create an else if. And it's basically the same as if, but it comes always after the if. So if our if statement is not true, then something else should happen. The else if also takes in a condition. So let's say if the car is equal to, and let's say a BMW, a Bayerische Motorisierungswerk then we will console log the string of you have a BMW. So let's hit save and we still have a Tesla. But as we know, variables declared with let can be reassigned. So let's change this to BMW and now let's see what happens. Now we have a BMW. If I would comment this out, then we will have a Tesla. Now else if statements can be actually more than one. So let me co copy this and copy it down here. And let's replace these two BMWs with an Audi. We still have a BMW. So let's copy our BMW and let's replace this car with an Audi. Let's see what happens. So it goes through it. Is it a Tesla? No, it's not. Is it a BMW? No, it's not. Is it a Audi? Yes, it is. And it prints out you have a Audi. Now, if statements end normally with else. So if everything that is up here is not true, then let's console log you have a uh, bicycle. Now, what would happen if I would change the car now, let's say a Dacia, this is a Romanian car. And now we have a bicycle instead of a car. And this is also almost true, the same inside joke. Okay, so once again, if something is true, then console log it. Console log it only if it's if this one is true. If it's not true, then go down here and say, okay, let's check if another statement is true. And if it is, then console log this. Okay, go down once again. If it's not true, then check if this is true. And if it is, then console log this. And if anything up here is not true, then do something else. Okay, so this is basically it for the if, 
LSIF and L statement. And obviously we can do one million of this, I wouldn't recommend. We will learn about something new then for on in the course. But yeah, this is basically how if statements work. Okay guys, so see you in the next video. Bye-bye.